The Challenge of the Yukon. Hunting! Hunting! Husky. The Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog, King, met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police stood at the bar of the Gold Nugget Cafe in Dawson talking to Bill, the bartender. Well, Bill, something new since I was here last. Where'd the piano come from? Oh, that belongs to Shim Togan. Poor little guy. He finally saved enough money to get the thing up here. Almost starved himself to death doing it. Well, what was the idea? Well, he likes to play and figured if I let him keep it in here, the customers would tip him enough to make a living. Does he still work at salmon fishing? Yeah, in the daytime. He thinks you'll be able to quit it soon, though, if the piano playing business keeps on the way it has. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you going to be in town long, sir? I guess so, Bill. Say, did you find out anything new about the first stealing deal? No, not much. I thought you might have some information for me. Nope. I watched Bull Jordan. He's been spending a lot of money. Nobody knows where he gets it. But I ain't heard nothing suspicious. You know, Bill, I'm sure he headed the gang of thieves doing it. I can't get a thing on him. If I could just find out where they're hiding the furs after they're stolen. But they're clever, Bill. Yeah, hello there. Uh, hello, Bull. Hey, there's Bull now. He's been drinking. If he sees me, he'll leave. I'll take King and go in the back room, Bill. Maybe he'll talk out of turn if he's had a few drinks. Try sounding him out, will you? Hey, I'm getting a drink. Hey, hello, Bull. Hey, set him up, Bill. Hey, where'd you get the piano? Belongs to Shrimp Togan. You mean that fishy-smelling little guy? <laughs> Where'd he learn to play? I don't know. Here you are. Uh, what you been doing lately, Bull? Yeah, nothing much. Hey, I don't like that piece he's playing. You, shrimp. I don't like that piece. Oh, uh, hello, Bull. Do you like my piano? <laughs> it looks like a battered up old tub. And it sounds like a lot of tin cans banging together. Why, it does not. It, it's beautiful. Beautiful? <laughs> it's a heap of junk. Bet I could tip it over with two fingers. Ah, uh, Bull, let Shrimp alone. We want to hear him play. If he plays, you play what I tell him to. Hey, Bull, quit it. You had too much to drink. You keep your nose out of this. Come on, you little shrimp. Do as I say. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you want me to play, Bull? Play? She's my daisy. Go on. But, Bull, I, I, I don't know it. Did you hear me? I said play it. But, Bull, huh? Honest, I, I never heard it. I, Don't I get kept... smart with me, you play it. L let go of me, Bull, please. If I knew it, I'd play it. Bull, let it go. I'll show you. If you ain't going to play what I want, you ain't going to play anything. Here, you. Give me that axe. Hey, give that back. You... Give me my axe. I'll give it to you. Right over the head of you, come a step closer. Oh, please. <laughs> please don't break my piano. <laughs> hey, this should be fun, huh? Yeah. Oh, my piano. My piano, no. Well, if it ain't the law. I said put down that axe. Sure. Sure. I'll put it down. <laughs> Can't get in the bad graces of the law. You're under arrest. Huh? Now, see here, Preston, I was just having a little fun. Oh, my piano, it's, it's ruined. I'll it's pay him for it, Sergeant. No hard feelings. It was all in fun. Fun for you, perhaps, but not for shrimp. Come on, I'm locking you up. But, but you can't. Get going, I said. In 
It was three days later, and old Jake, who had charge of the jail, handed Bull his dinner through the bars. Here you are, Bull. Some good steaming stew. I hate that smelly stuff. Hey, Jake, have you thought about the proposition I made you? I ain't interested, Bull. But I tell you, you'll be independent for life. They ain't got any right to keep me here. Well, they said you was to stay in jail until you got another pie at it to replace the one you smashed. But that'll take months. I, I, I don't know how to get one ever. I guess maybe you should have thought of that before you decided to break up shrimp. It's a frame up, that's all it is. They want to keep me in jail for some reason. I don't know nothing about it. All I got to do is to see that you stay here. Hello, Jake. Well, Mark, what are you doing here? Is it all right if I talk to Bull? Well, uh, sure, but first put your gun on that table. He's liable to grab it. Why, sure. Uh, ain't got another one on you by any chance? <laughs> nope. Uh, just got to search you, them's orders. Uh, All right. All right. Go on, you can talk to him. Hello, Mark. How are you, Paul? You shouldn't have come here. They might drag you back to the hideout. I won't go back there until I'm sure I ain't followed. Listen, we gotta get them furs out before the river freezes. You ain't touching them without me. Don't think you can get away with them. But they say you're being held here for a long time. I'll bust out of here some way. If you and Pierce try any funny business until I get out, you know what'll happen to you. We won't. I just wanted to know what to do, that's all. You shouldn't have come near me. Now, get out of here. Hey, what's all the whispering about? He owes me some money. We were playing poker the night he got thrown in here. Well, I guess I'll have to wait until he's out. I guess you will, Matt. You better start adding up the interest on it. Because he's going to be here for quite a spell. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for letting me talk to him anyway. Don't forget your gun, Mark. I got it. Hmm. You a friend of yours, Bull? No. Just got in a poker game with him the other night. Jake, would you change your mind I'll about I'll tell what... you it's no use. I don't... There you go, Shrimp. Oh, he's on top of everything else. There's another prisoner for you, Jake. Wait, it's Shrimp. Oh, if you just let me go this once... I'll promise I'll never do anything crooked again. You stole the money and you were caught. I can't change the laws, Shrimp. But I wanted another piano so much. I would have returned it, Sergeant. I swear I would. Open the cell, Jake. All right, Sergeant. Here's company for you, Bull. Well, will you look who's here. It's all your fault, you big bully. Why'd you have to break my piano? If you're going to room with me, you'd better watch your tongue. No rough stuff, Bill. See you later, Jake. I'm in a hurry. Uh, all right, Sergeant. Uh, have you had any supper, Shroom? No, I... I don't think I can eat. i better get you a bite or something. I'll be right back. What did they throw you in here for? I wanted another piano. I, I couldn't wait till I made enough money again, so I... I stole it. Huh? <laughs> you? A shrimp like you trying to be a thief? I got it all back again. <laughs> Now they say I'll be in jail for six months. It isn't fair. If ever I get out of here, I'm going to leave this country for good. Well, I sure hope you get out. It's bad enough in here without you smelling up the place with that fishy stench. When Jake comes back, I'm making him open a window. I shouldn't have tried to take that money. I'll die if I have to stay cooped up in here for six months. Yes. Yeah. You and Jake are old friends, ain't you? Yes. That's why he's so worried about me eating tonight. But Jake's too honest to let me out. But how do you know? Why don't you try him out? I, I'd leave the country if he would. I'd never come back again. But tell him that. I keep at him. You never can tell. Shrimp, we better get a few things straight around here. Uh, what, what do you mean, Bull? For the last few days, you and Jake have been whispering to each other when you thought I was asleep. Oh, no, we haven't, Bull. Don't you... lie to me. I saw him give you something just before he went out. It uh, wouldn't happen to be a key to the cell, would it? Uh, a key? <laughs> Are you crazy? Uh, I just asked to see these old uh, these old handcuffs. They, they were hanging on the wall. They're just something to fool with. I get tired of sitting around all day. You and Jake are up to something. Listen, shrimp. If you think you're going to get out of here without me, you're crazy, see? He gave you something besides them handcuffs. Uh, no, Bull, no, he didn't. You're probably just waiting for me to go to sleep. 
You're gone for the night. And you're planning to sneak off without me. Oh, where'd you get those crazy ideas? Uh, I ain't planning any well, such I'll thing. Well, I'll fix that. Yes, hey. Give me them handcuffs. Hey, what, what are you doing? Yes, we're handcuffed together. <laughs> we'll pull our cots side by side. <laughs> then, just try and escape without taking me with you. Oh, but, Bull, <laughs> we can't sleep handcuffed together like this. <laughs> That's right, we can't. Ain't you got any better ideas? Why should I help you escape? You're the reason I'm in here. If it hadn't been for you, I wouldn't have stolen that money. You ain't leaving it without me. I take your choice. Well, I, I guess I might as well tell you. Jake did give me a key. It's here, hidden in, hidden in my pocket. Why, you little... I could have taken that away from you. I knew that, but... Now you can't go without me either. Why, you... Don't... We got about four hours of darkness. We got to get someplace where we can get these handcuffs sawed off us. Now give me that key we're starting. Oh, please don't go so fast. I keep stumbling in the dark. Shut up and keep going. If it wasn't for you, I could use the canoe. I can't paddle with you handcuffed to me. Blast the luck. If I can only get loose. Oh, where are we going? We've come so far. Come to the left, through those trees. I'm not so fast, boy. Come on, hurry. Hey, well, there's, there's a cabin hidden away back here. I told you I knew where I was going. Mark. Might open up. It's it's bull. Bull. Light a lantern, quick. The worst piece. Get him up. We're pulling out of here tonight. How'd you get out, bull? Who's that with you? It's shrimp. I had to bring him. We were handcuffed together. I get a file and cut me loose. Bull, where are we? Pete's sleeping down in the boat. There, the lantern went. Cut me loose first. And we're getting the furs on the boat and shoving off. We you gonna take shrimp with us? No. <laughs> I'll tend to him. I hear file it's loose. We can get about six hours start before they miss us at the jail. They'll have the trailer. I couldn't use the canoe. Had to walk along the bank of the river. Bo, uh, please don't kill me. It, it was on account of me you escaped, remember? You wouldn't do it. Shut any... up. As soon as I'm loose, I'll take care of you and your fishy smell. I've been locked up with this little mackerel for three days. Now, hurry, Mark. Yeah, it's almost far. Don't kill of you. What the hell? under arrest. What's the thing? Gee, Sergeant Preston, am I glad to see you. Nice job, Shrimp. You mean this little runt was in on it? Why, you... Take it easy, Bull. My dog's watching you. Uh, are there any more of them, Shrimp? Uh, they said something about Pete. Uh, down in a boat, sleeping. Oh, Pete, eh? Uh-huh. Jake. Uh, yeah, Sergeant. You and Bill go down and get Pete. I'll handcuff these two and then join you. We'll get them, Sergeant. I was worried, Sergeant. I was afraid you couldn't trail us in the dark. Well, we couldn't have done it without King, could we, fella? <laughs> you and your fishy smell, that's what did it. Well, that was part of the plan, Bull. Mart, you can finish filing those handcuffs now and let Shrimp loose. I'll put another pair on you and Bull. All right. You scaly little double-crosser. I should have bashed your head instead of handcuffing myself to you. We planned it the other way around, Bull. When you took the key away from me, I was supposed to snap the handcuffs on. But you saved me the trouble. Maybe next time, Bull, you'll think twice before you smash a piano. As a nice reward for these stolen furs, it'll be yours, Shrimp. Oh, it, it ought to be yours. And King's. You thought of the plan and, and King found us. No, Shrimp. You take that money and buy yourself a new piano. Our reward will be seeing these crooks behind bars. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time. Hugh Holder speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network. <laughs>